Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video, this time with a look at the weird build that I used for Punisher Part 4 that surprisingly worked a lot better than I expected. For this quest, you need to get 10 PvP kills on Shoreline while wearing a Scab Vest and a Balaclava. There's not a whole lot of limitations to your loadout, but the big one is the Scab Vest, which means that you won't really be able to carry more than two spare magazines at any time. This got me thinking that the 100 round 556 mag might be fun to try for this quest, since I'd have plenty of ammo and wouldn't need to worry about reloading too often. I also decided to pair it with the 556 MDR because the slower fire rate conserves your ammo and it's cheap enough that I didn't mind trying it out just for science. The build for the 556 MDR is really simple. For a cheap suppressor, I start off with the KAC QD Compensator and the NT4 Suppressor, which has pretty solid recoil numbers and a good price, so I love it on the MDR. Next, I just add an AFG foregrip and the X400 flashlight for my tactical slots, and you'll only need a single M-lock rail for this setup since the grip just goes right onto the handguard. For the sight, I went with the trusty Elcan Spectre for this setup. On shoreline, I always like to have some magnification to make long shots if I have to and to peek at sniper spots, and the Elcan has a mode for pretty much every range now, so it's a great choice for both the resort and for making shots farther out. Finally, I just added a pair of MBUS iron sights for some ergonomics, and then the main attraction of the build, the 100 round Stanag 556 magazine. You don't really see this one around too much because of the ridiculous ergonomics penalty, but it's a lot cheaper than the 60 round mags, it has pretty decent packing speed, and on the MDR it feels like you never have to reload because of the slower fire rate. This setup gets down to 61 recoil, but only 35 ergonomics with the mag attached, which is a bit on the low side, but it gets the job done. The total cost though is only about 150,000 rubles, which I think is a pretty nice price for a fully kitted 5.56 rifle. This build got me through almost all of my kills for Punisher Part 4, so in the end I would say the experiment was a success and I had a lot of fun on these raids. I've got the gameplay highlights with this setup ready for the rest of this one, plus the final raid which I did with an MK47, so I'm going to let that roll for the rest of the video and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for checking out the video, I've got links to my Twitch stream, Discord server, and Patreon page down below for anyone interested, and until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City. I'm also wondering a little bit if that those shots might have been the uh, scab sniper. But it feels like it was too too close to this left side to be that. Well, there's one out of ten. Alright. Okay, good. I was like wearing the Momex and I'm like, oh, please, God, tell me this works. Oh, there's two out of ten. All right. Ah, oh, shit, why'd I reload that? I gotta put on this fucking chonker of a magazine again. Well, turns out patrolling the roof is not a horrible idea. Pretty sure I just heard a footstep of the guy that's about to come and kill me, though. Oh, yeah. That was one of the luckiest headshots I've ever made in my Tarkov career. I'll take it though. <laughs> that was like... I, I killed him while the sight was still lining up, you know? Like, I wasn't even close to being fully aimed down the sights. That was fluky. Thank you, Tarkov. I needed this so bad today, boys. Quitting smoking is fucking hard, and <laughs> playing Tarkov while also quitting smoking is like twice as hard. Oh man, this guy has some stuff. Look at that, he's got a Saker. Cool. Well, that was a pretty solid first run at Punisher Part 4, I'll tell you what. Mm. 
Yeah, these they were about the same price there. Sail your face. So it was like they said like thirty-eight thousand or something. Uh oh. I think this is. Oh fuck me! I can't believe I'm still alive. I think I just got Sanitar. Dude, why is my my lights like not penetrating this? That's so weird. Dude, I actually got Sanitar with the grenade. Oh no, it's his guard. Damn. Whatever, there's a guard down. See if he's got BP rounds. Yeah, he totally does. I'm gonna go empty these out before I come in and fight the rest. when I'm aiming down the four times. Damn. Sucks that I missed that initial shot. Oh man, I'm missing like crazy. That was horrible shooting on my end. Gotta stir the pot a little bit real quick. I'm gonna pre propital here. Like I'm pretty sure they're chilling in one of these little offices. My God. I got him. <laughs> Mr. Epilogue. Nice raid backpack. He's got a fucking... My goodness. 
My goodness. This guy's a little, uh, kitted. Oh my god, that's Sanitar. Imagine if I could have got them all with a Vog there. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god, they're coming for me. Listen to them. Oh, I can't do this, man. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Dude, Sanitar's guards and his voice lines are, like, kind of the best in the game, honestly. God, I don't know if I want to go for him. Like, I can always just use the Moonshine for a scab case. It would be nice to get the XP and the kill. We'll try one engagement with them, and if it goes all fucky... Then I'm just gonna leave it. What? Oh yeah, yeah, it's going all fucky already. Dude, he's just gonna head-eyes me if I peek that again. Got some new sex. Okay. Dude, it's like he knows I'm here. I'm fucking out of this. Fucking ass here. Arcane Peasant, it's because keeping up a good economy is, like, one of the key things in Tarkov. I think I got them both. Dude, look at that weak-ass little throw. My goodness. Well, there's two more kills for the quest. Now this guy's definitely gonna be curious. Oh, level 31 running a PPSH. I feel like this guy's part of my fucking chat. Oh, 
Oh god, look at that bounce. Dude, that railing fucking blocked like 30 of my shots there. Rip. That was such a good flank, and then I missed those shots. Man, some companies should make fucking glasses that are like integrated with Twitch. There's one. Fuck, the second that I moved away from that roof peak spot, somebody jumped through there. Like, that's so goddamn typical. But anyway, companies should make glasses with Twitch integration that can, like, display your chat on the glasses. <clears throat> Pretty sure I heard somebody underneath me. You fucker. Oh, got him. Holy shit. All right, play Skyrim intro, please. I don't know where this guy is. Fucking hell, man. Thank God for this HMK. Is this where the guy was then? He was firing at me with this AKMSN from behind? I don't know. 